Hello friends, happy Vlogmas day four. That animation just makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are watching this video four days in, I feel like you are my people generally with posting so much. There's a lot of excitement at the beginning and then people kind of taper off. So if you're still here, thank you so incredibly much for being here. And I would like to invite you to pause and make yourself a heartwarming cup of tea, grab your coziest of comfy blankets, and let's spend the day together. Today is one of those cozy, productive, tidy house, hearty food, life admin days. I have spent the first half of the day doing all my businessy work admin things and now it is 2 p.m. and I'd really like to tidy up my space. The laundry needs to be put away, our dishwasher needs to be emptied, <laughs> there's dog hair collecting all over the place. Ruth shed so much. It's been like three days since I slept and you can hardly tell. So I need to sweep and vacuum water the Christmas tree and the rest of the house plants. We really, really desperately need to go grocery shopping, but I was flipping through a cookbook to try and figure out what I wanted to buy at the grocery store for dinner tonight, and I found a soup recipe for which I somehow have all the ingredients for. Like everything that we have left is in this soup recipe and it's perfect. So I'll be making that for dinner tonight. And I'd also like to do something for myself this evening. Ooh, it's hard to decide. I wanna bake a sweet treat, but I also have a puzzle that I wanna work on. Maybe I can do both, but regardless, I feel like self-care should be part of any productive day because it is perhaps one of the most productive things you can do. Taking care of yourself takes care of everyone else and puts you in a good state of mind to then be able to live your life and do whatever you need to do. So yeah, I love to put on a Christmas movie and work on a puzzle tonight and or bake a sweet treat. Let's get to it. Every Christmas, baby, reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. This is the current state of my closet, and I only have a handful of empty hangers and this mountain. <laughs> of clothes that I need to hang up. So a quick little clothing declutter. I feel like I just did this and I did back in spring, but somehow there's more. It's my sweaters, you guys. I love a good sweater. I have way too many sweaters, but I wear them all. Let's do some decluttering. guys look at this sweater collection oh my cozy heart i literally have a full rainbow of sweaters i'll show you some of my favorites okay well clearly i like a good cream sweater each of these is different though this is one of my all-time favorites i found it secondhand and it says hand knit by zori it has its own story and I love that about it. This 
was a very recent find and it is the blazer of my dreams. It's really pretty brown. Is it called Hound's Tooth? I think this pattern is called Hound's Tooth. Very sophisticated. I have this star dress that my mom gave me for Christmas last year and I love it. Just a casual black dress, but with the playfulness of the stars, I feel like it really, really suits my personality. This is this year's Christmas sweater. I found it over the summer, again at a secondhand shop, but it's actually Abercrombie and Fitch. I have no idea how old it is, but I have always wanted this pattern. I love this kind of ski pattern, and I love a good red sweater. My pink sweater! I ordered this and it was a totally different shade of pink than it looked online and I was so scared of wearing it but I wore it and it's become one of my favorite sweaters. It excites my inner girly girl and definitely feels in alignment with who I really am. My grandma knitted this cardigan. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the green and it feels like a hug from my grandma anytime I wear it. And it still kind of smells like her. Less so because I've had it for years. But yeah, my grandma kind of always smells like yarn in the best way. I have lots of skirts. I really love wearing skirts. And then I also found some trousers excited to step it up in trousers this year. <laughs> All right, this is my current closet situation. Every single hanger is in use, so no more new clothes for the time being. Onward! When something happens, when something happens, happen. when disseminates, when disseminates, yeah. Now it's time to empty the dishwasher and put away the dirty dishes. Top 10 least favorite chores. And I have to do it multiple times a week. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, it's Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby. It's Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Apron is coming on. This can only mean one thing. Deliciously heartwarming food is on its way. I've ordered an Uber Eats. <laughs> just kidding. Someone told me that um, saying just kidding is the equivalent of a mom joke. So there are dad jokes and then a mom joke is when you say something and then have to clarify that you were just kidding because no one's laughed most often in my case. <laughs> I have to let everyone know, I have to cue them that what I said was funny. So there's a good mom joke for you. So I was flipping through this cookbook, the Vegan Instant Pot Cookbook by Nisha Bora. Most of these recipes can be made without an Instant Pot. An Instant Pot sautés and then rapid fire speed cooks things somehow. But most of these recipes can be made in your standard pot or pan. It just takes a bit longer. Seeing as it's winter and the weather's been so cold and rainy, I have been craving soup. And the soup we had with Eric and Serena was just so delicious. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. I'm not making that. <laughs> I don't have the recipe for that. But browsing this book, I did come across the creamy, dreamy cauliflower soup, which is perfect because we have a head of cauliflower and basically nothing else. Well, other than an onion and some potatoes, which is exactly what we need for this recipe. And I thought it sounded really good. So this is what I'm gonna make tonight.
Alright, time to get out the old Ensign pot. While I wait for the soup to cook, I'm going to go ahead and quickly just vacuum the floors and the couch. garnishes that you can add to the soup to spice it up but <laughs> I fancy these green onion pancakes as a side dish instead so I'm gonna go ahead and saute two of these the soup is warming on the stove it is ready to go just need to get these done and then we're gonna have a feast Top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
absolutely delicious. This is the heartwarming meal that I needed after a kind of cold day of, of working outside. It's so good. So a few videos ago, I said that I wanted to do, or I wanted to get a tacky Christmas puzzle because I don't actually have tacky Christmas puzzles or I don't have one. Man, it's so dark in here. It's only lit by the tree. Well, <laughs> my aunt watches these videos and she <laughs> sent me this advent calendar puzzle thing. So it's actually, it has 24 days and you're meant to open a box a day and complete the puzzle over the course of the 24 days. And you guys, it's really tacky. Let me show you. Here it is in all its glory. Christmas snowy night. There are so many things in this advent calendar puzzle. Everywhere I look, there's something new, like a cat right there, a kite crashed into the roof. <laughs> look at this cat, he's crazy. Cute little doggo, a penguin. <laughs> we have these two cats right here and a little baby deer. It's actually really fun. I could have never actually imagined this, but it checks all the boxes. And now I'm gonna open up some boxes. I haven't started it yet, so I have four days worth of boxes to do. And I'm gonna work on this while we watch Home Alone. This is what it looks like on the inside. I think it's actually adorable. And I'm gonna do one, two, three, and four. Well, after a hot warming meal like that, I feel like we could use some hot chocolate. Oh, that's not it. Okay, for real now. These are our ingredients, and you need cute mugs too. Perhaps. And a little bit of water. Organic cane sugar. The cocoa powder. <laughs> hmm, something's missing. Which one do you want? I am brown teacher. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is rich. It tastes like drinking fudge cake. So <laughs> Oh my god. Satisfying. I want to do day four. 
That makes me so excited, man. I've always wanted you to do a puzzle with me. <laughs> well, here we go, folks. Live, live, live. Everybody. My name is Sky. I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just wanted to say that if you are not happy with something in your life, if you feel unsatisfied, try to change something. Figure out what it is that you feel like is missing and just make a change. My spouse and I made the really big and hard decision this year to move away from family and to start our lives. Um, in Maine, and Maine is very different than Tennessee, but we decided that we would be sad if we never lived or tried tried to live our life the way that we really want to and try something new. So if you're looking for a sign or a message to try something new, this is it. Just go for it. can't plan for everything. Sometimes you just got to go for it. You've got this. All right, much love to all of you, and thank you, Morgan, for providing this space. Bye-bye.